Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we will talk about torque wrench, what it is, why we use it, why not just use a breaker bar or ratchet and tighten the bolt till it's too tight, how to use a torque wrench, how to know any bolt's torque spec, and also I will give you some tips and tricks. We will cover all these in today's video. Torque wrench is used when working on a car to ensure that bolt or nut are tightened to manufacture torque spec. So the big question is why we need to use it. Precise and accuracy. When we are using torque wrench, it provides precise control over the amount of torque applied to prevent under tightening or over tightening. Because when you're tightening a bolt or a nut with your bare hand, you will never know the amount of force you are applying, especially when the handle is short or long. It will totally be off the measurement. Longer handle will give you more leverage and then you will tighten it more. Shorter handle will give you under tightening. So in terms of safety, proper torque fasteners are crucial for vehicle safety. Over tightening bolt can break and under tightening bolt can come loose. And also it gives you longevity of the vehicle's component. And when it comes to component integrity, correct torque ensures that the component functions as designed without damage. Over tightening can damage the thread gasket if they have any in between. So using a torque wrench helps maintain the reliability and safety of the vehicle. When it comes to buying a torque wrench, there are a few things you have to consider before buying it. First, the drive size, which is this part. There are a few options you can get depending on what you're doing and what you're using for. First is quarter inch, which is 6.3 mm, 3 and 8 inch, which is 9.5 mm, and the third is half an inch, which is 12.7 mm which is this size I got. The good thing about this one, it comes with adapter. You can convert half an inch to three and eight inch with this one. And also it comes with the extender as well. So that's a plus for this tool. And the second thing before buying a torque wrench is the torque wrench. This one ranges between 20 to 220 Newton meter. This is a very practical wrench if you are working on suspension or any part of the car. One of the biggest questions that people ask that we cannot use extender with a torque wrench. Well, in some cases we have to use it because we cannot reach a certain bolt or not in the suspension, so we have to use it. But in this case, if you are using a 90mm socket, this is a half inch drive. So if you are using a half inch drive, there should be no problem because this is a solid piece and it's short. But if you are using a 90mm socket, but with this one, this is a 3 and H inch, there should be a flex and it will miss the torque. And the other thing, we cannot use a universal joint if you are using a torque wrench because there are so much movement here and it will resist it and mess up our torque. So these two, we cannot use it, but if it's a half inch, there should be no problem. Alright, let's talk about how to put it in a specific torque spec. Let's say we have 20 Nm of torque. Here's 20 and we have to pull this and then we can twist it. And then once we align the zero with this line, it will lock its place. And let's say we have 21, we will go one. And that's 21 and it goes like this. Let's say we have 30 Newton meter. We will go all the way till this zero will be aligned with this line. And now we have 30. There are two important things to maintain the torque wrench. When we are done, this spring is loaded now with this torque wrench. So when we are done, we have to loosen up all the way so the pressure of the spring is released. Now, it's released all the way. So now we can save it like this. And the second thing, you do not drop it. If you drop it, it will mess up all the torque and then you have to send it to readjust it again. That's why it comes in a box like this. So where we can get a specific torque spec for a bolt or not? Let's say I'm gonna torque the lug nuts and I don't know where I can find it. The easiest thing, you can Google it and you can find it or ask ChatGPT. And in my case, it's 103 Newton meter torque. We can adjust it to 103. Here's the 100 and three. One, two, three. Now we can torque it. So we have these bolts here for the engine support mount and the torque spec for these three is 38 newton meter. Now we're gonna torque them to the right spec and just check them if they are right or wrong. So now we're gonna put it on 38. Here's 30 and here's 38.
So apart from this torque wrench, I also have this one. But the problem with this one, it's too long and I can't use it in every place. Especially when I'm working on the suspension, it hits the ground and the car has to be very high on the jack stand. And for adjusting, it's a bit bothering. So you have to pull this and twist it. And sometimes you will lose this. But that's the problem with this one. But with this one, the changing is very easy. You can set it on any number. And the range is very good. 20 newton meter to 220. It is very practical. And the size is very good for working with the suspension and also engine as well. Another thing you should know about torque wrench, you do not have to use it as a ratchet because it has a limited lifetime so you have to save it only for torquing and instead of that you can just use a normal ratchet for tightening up and then torque it with this one. And that is most of the things you should know before buying a torque wrench and how to use it and why we are using it. The torque wrench I used will be in the video description box below. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.